Hello, welcome to the Margin Odd Show, the cybersecurity show. Apple has something open Elm. So I'm going to talk about what it is and what you need to know about it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. We're going dark. So what is Apple Open Elm? The full title is Open Source Efficient LLMs and their instruct models designed to be retrained, adapted, and integrated in other projects by third-party developers and researchers. These new models have been designed to be more accurate and efficient. Initially, Apple's focus is in, in providing support for the research community as Open uh, Elm can be used for investigating model biases risks and level of trustworthiness so there are four models in the family uh pre-train on the open source cornet data library all are small language models with the uh largest at three billion parameters so uh this is a similar size to microsoft's new phi 3 small language model and what separates open elm from the rest the big differentiator is getting similar performance to other open source language models but on a much smaller training data set this makes it perfect for niche use cases and research apple researchers wrote in a paper on the new model they said with a parameter budget of approximately 1 billion parameters open elm exhibits a 2.36 percent improvement in accuracy compared to other similar sized models with the release of the new models, Apple also offered code to use the MLX library. This is the toolkit Apple uses to run AI models like Stable Diffusion on its own chipsets. Being able to deploy models to edge devices running Apple's own chips could also be a game a changer for wearable tech. <laughs> So we could see future Apple AR glasses using an onboard AI to offer information on surroundings even when offline. So what does this Open LM may mean for the future of the iPhone? So Open Elm, right, to what we know now uh, or what's being reported is primarily a research project, which is a way for data scientists and people investigating the safety and accuracy of AI models to run code more efficiently. However, it further shows Apple's commitment to creating AI models, you know, that are able to run on devices like iPhones, iPads, and MacBooks efficiently without compromising capability. One reason Siri has always been seen as, you know, not as good as the other legacy AI chatbots like Alexa and Google Assistant is because Apple had much of its functionality running on device meaning it could not draw on as much compute powering for complex tasks. A lot of Apple's recent work on AI, including research in, in, into improving efficiency for, you know, you know, like memory usage, running models that use the, nat the, the neural engine and new model languages that work from a single prompt has been towards this goal and Open Elm is no different. It could even lead to framework developers could use for AI and prompts. That's what I have for you today. Please take, please let me know what you have uh, or, you know, for this in the comment section below, what opinion you have. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.